TED has become a cultural phenomenon through its mission of sharing big ideas. It's posted TED Talks online for free since 2006. They feature speakers from almost every discipline. The videos are viewed more than 3.4 billion times a year. Here are some of the most popular ones. That many highly talented, brilliant, creative people think they're not. Because the thing they were good at at school wasn't valued or was actually stigmatized. And I think we can't afford to go on that way. Get your testosterone up, get your cortisol down. Don't leave that situation feeling like, oh, I didn't show them who I am. Leave that situation feeling like, oh, I really feel like I got to say who I am and show who I am. The consequence of the single story is this, it robs people of dignity. It makes our recognition of our equal humanity difficult. It emphasizes how we are different rather than how we are similar. It was a year-long street fight. <laughs> It was a slugfest. Vulnerability pushed, I pushed back. I lost um, the fight, but probably won my life back. TED just launched a new podcast featuring in-depth interviews with past speakers. The TED interview is hosted by Chris Anderson, who runs the nonprofit. Good morning, Chris. Good morning. So why a podcast? Well, um, a podcast is a conversation, and it can run longer, much longer. You know, a typical TED talk is 18 minutes or less. Um, podcasts can be as long as you like. These run about an hour, which means you've got a chance to go much deeper into a speaker's thinking. The TED talk is meant to be just the beginning of an idea. Hey, here's something really interesting. Mm -hmm. This is the chance to really understand their thinking more deeply. But you know, t you know, Chris, when I first heard it, I thought, who thinks this is a good idea? I've already listened <laughs> to the podcast. Why do I now want to listen to an interview with a person who just did the podcast? And then I listened to Elizabeth Gilbert. And I went, well, you do the interview. And it's really, really good. You started with her, why? Because she's amazing. Yeah, she um, is. She is extraordinary. You know, she gave a TED talk about this slightly strange idea at first glance that about what, what is genius? What is creative genius? And um, most people think of that as, oh, well, you have creative geniuses. She says, no, no, no. Creative genius is something that comes to you from outside. So it was a kind of inspiring talk, and it gives you a, a picture for how to think creatively. But what does she actually mean by that? So we started talking about that and her kind of magical view of the world and my slightly more skeptical <laughs> pushback on that. But then we ended up in a conversation about grief, yeah, which was... Yeah, she just lost her partner. She lost her partner. It was the first time she had really talked at length publicly about it. And um, I have to say, just sitting... There. I mean, we're, we were in our, my home, and um, I, I, I was just overcome with how extraordinary her response to that was. She was so eloquent, and uh, she really, you know, she really helped mm -hmm. me a, a lot, as well as uh, mm -hmm. yeah. judging from the response side. Yes. Yes. yes, I keep thinking about things that get our attraction, as opposed to things that need our attention. Hmm. And in this era of, what are we now, 140 characters on Twitter? Yeah. Has it been expanded? They, they now increased it. Yeah. 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 But, in, but when yeah. people scroll through for headlines and click clickbait, that there is a desire for understanding and longer formats. Yeah, it's, it's the tragedy of the era we're in right now is that um, all of our attention is being focused on these short hits and we're, we're succeeding in making each other really angry, but we're not succeeding in actually communicating with each other very well. Because when you're Seeking angry... Seeking understanding and yeah, listening. Yeah, yeah. When, you, when you're in two tribes fighting each other, or, or, you know, that, that is not a recipe for learning anything. So yeah, the, the notion that behind all this mess, there are actually ideas out there, there are people thinking, dreaming, offering really beautiful things to say. If you just take the time, slow down, take the time to listen to them and go where curiosity takes you. That can be such a fantastic antidote to all the sort of hate and uh, that we're in right now. And the topics and the speakers really run the gamut. What makes for a great TED talk? Is it the topic or is it the speaker? What's more important? It has to be both. You, the, you, speakers who are great performers but have nothing to say, that's no good at all. We can't stand that. Um, so it has to be someone who, who really has an interesting idea or an interesting invention or interesting work that they want to communicate. Or, um, and then they just have to find a way of communicating it authentically. The thing about TED Talks is that people put a huge amount of preparation into how to really crystallize what they most care about and to show why it matters. And it, obviously they have enthusiasm and joy for what, is that what you're going to try to put at the heart of the podcast? I mean, it's, you obviously can't just be like the TED Talks. So what's at the heart of the conversation in the podcast? It's, it's their idea, their thinking. You know, tr just trying to go deeper. I ideas aren't little things that land neatly that you can package. They usually, you know, they start a conversation. They, they 
are open to criticism. They can take you in lots of different directions. Different people can react to them in different ways. And so it's kind of trying to dance all the way around their thinking and, and let a chance, give, give people a chance just to, to understand it better, that right. much more better. Interact with the you, idea, not just receive yes. it. You say the TED Talks have made you more hopeful about the world. I get that, because you, you take on topics that you think I might not be interested in, but the people are so good and the storytelling is so great. Mm -hmm. A lot of nice things happening in this world. There, there are nice things. I mean, they, they sometimes scare me a lot as well. I mean, we're at this very fragile time right now where there's more to be worried about than ever, but also more amazingness going on behind the scenes than ever. And the amazingness part isn't talked about enough. Thank you, Chris. This is a great idea, yeah. Chris. Yeah. Thank you. That's great great idea. idea. Look, really you've, idea. we'll be listening. Scale. Yeah. You've convinced Gail. <laughs> you know, like, yeah. You know, this is Gilbert. It's, it's really good. <laughs> really My good. favorite authors. I've read all of her yes. books. <laughs>